This is a Johnson Messenger 3 CB radio from 1964, so it's almost 50 years old. And um, I wasn't going to make a video on this, but it's got a problem that could be interesting. Um, <clears throat> actually, a problem that is interesting. We'll take a quick look on the inside of it. you can see there's one capacitor there that I changed and you can see that transistor right there and then right there is the driver transistor next to that little transformer and the symptom with this radio is severe hiss like severe white noise and I give you an example of that Now keep in mind the receiver is completely disabled in this. So all of that noise is being generated in the audio section. So the audio section is fairly simple. We got the uh, audio amp, then we got the driver transistor. This is the capacitor you see that I changed. Then we've got the transformer, then the two audio outputs, then the output transformer. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take a capacitor and shunt the AC off of this. Then I'm going to come back to this and shunt the AC off. Okay, so I'm going to start with the transformer. Now I'm going to come back to the input to the driver transistor. So what I think what I'm thinking is those transistors and I've heard of this those PNP germanium transistors have got a waterfall running in them. And what I'm going to do uh, to test this out is I've got this old Zenith radio here. I don't even know what this is a, a royal something or another. Anyway, it has plug-in transistors, and of course there's the driver and the matched output. What is this? It's a Royal 820. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the transistors out of the CB, the two audio transistors, and then I can just unplug these and plug the ones from the CB in there just to see if I'm getting the noise. This is just an interesting experimental test. Okay, so here we go. We got, that's the one that's out. Here's the driver. And, let's see, this is live. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Oh, hear the hiss? Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Open Gangnam Style. I could barely hear the hiss there. Jeez, I can't tell what's lead, what lead is what on here. No hiss at all on this one. It
Where is the pre-driver on this? So all this has is a driver, it doesn't have a 3IF stages, it doesn't have a pre-driver. I could definitely hear more hiss with this one. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but we can... Okay, I'm changing to the other one. Going back to the one with his. I, that thing is definitely noisier. Let me pull the pre-driver out. See what happens. For testing, I tacked this uh, general purpose replacement transistor in there, and there it is right there. And as you can hear, we have absolutely no audible hiss unless you put your ear right on the speaker. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to inject a signal through a capacitor into the base. value is this 22 that's way too big that's why it's distorted okay now I'm gonna tack the original one back in there where did it go here those were RCA these happen to be RCA transistors too. These are probably American made. Okay, here's the original one again. Can we hear the difference? Now, there is something wrong with that. That does not sound right at all. Um, interesting, I've been running into a lot of these kind of uh, repairs that really aren't worth doing because there's just so much wrong with them and the parts are so hard to get. Uh, I'm just wondering, you know, there's... I just checked two out of 20 transistors. How would this thing behave if all of them in the IF strip were this noisy and and all the rest of it? So it's probably not worth fixing. I mean, it's cool because it's American made and it's 50 years old. But these transistors are obviously all noisy. So anyway, that's an interesting comparison and uh, you know, this problem could show up when restoring an old transistor radio, too. So it's it's uh, imperative to keep in mind that these transistors, these old transistors, do, do develop waterfalls inside them.